Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. This is another of my short, short stories of the type that's in my book, Soloists, subtitle, Short, Short Stories of Introverts and Outsiders Facing a Dilemma. This one is called A Couple in Retirement. Luke trudged out of the drugstore and sighed. My hearing isn't that bad. I don't want to look old. I don't want to accept that I am old. And with that out of his system, he trudged back in and bought a hearing aid. After saying hello to his wife, Christine, he escaped to his study to program it. For once, oblivious to the arthritis pain that made getting up difficult, he bounced up to see if he wouldn't so often ask, what? So, what's new, Christine? Well, you're not going to like this, but our granddaughter is going to a Catholic high school. He heard that all right. Religion? Ouch, such bull. She retorted, spoken like the clueless atheist you are. He turned off his hearing aid and walked back to his study. At least she didn't notice I was wearing a hearing aid. He tried to see if the hearing aid helped him in listening to podcasts on his phone. He tried Lex Friedman. Yes. Lunar Society, not so good. The show is poorly mic'd. Then he tried the playlist that his son set up for him on his phone. Awesome. Christine called in. I also booked us on a cruise. We're boring each other. We need to shake things up. He didn't really hear what she said, so he turned his hearing aid back on and padded in. What'd you say? I said, I booked us on a cruise on the Royal Empress. I hate cruises. They're floating apartment buildings with rooms so small they wouldn't put welfare recipients in them. And they are monuments to gluttony. Plus, they charge lowball prices to get you on board and then charge everything, charge extra for everything except breathing. Luke, do try to have a good time. What I'll probably do is gain weight and maybe end up in the ship's hospital, maybe even be one of the people who on every cruise drops dead from overeating. And you know I can't resist all that free food. I can't believe you booked us on a cruise. He kept complaining. For example, when they pulled into the harbor's parking lot, he said, Loan sharks wouldn't charge that much. And I can't believe how long the line is just to get on the damn boat. It's not a boat. It's a ship. By the way, I've chosen the sit-down dinner option rather than the buffet. You'll eat less. See, I care about you. You chose it because you don't want to spend so much time with me. They'll seat us with six or eight other people. Probably the shallow types that tend to go on cruises. I didn't book any of the excursions. I wanted your input. Those tend to be ripoffs. Stop, she said. All right, pick an excursion, any excursion. Okay, how about the bus tour? It's the least expensive. I might not want to get back on the bus with you, she said. Not a bad idea. They disembarked at Nirvana Bay, the cruise line's private island. In the manufactured for tourist Chachka huts, Luke and Christine separated a bit when she wanted to look at sarongs, and he took it as a chance to escape. She called and called him to no avail, searched the area, but didn't look in the one place she was sure he wouldn't be in, the church. After all, he even cringed at Christmas carols. But there he was in the bell tower, enjoying seeing Christine's franticness. For once, she cares where I am. Of course, that's only because she doesn't want to get stranded. Christine told the bus driver, and the bus driver waited as long as possible. But finally, after talking with the ship's captain, said, Lady, the ship ain't going to wait any longer for us. We're going. You can come if you like. And she did. After a few hours, Luke was bored with painted coconuts, straw hats, and steel drum music. So he boarded another ship at the dock, which had called, All aboard! Their staff, of course, checked his documents and then called the Royal, called the Royal Empress to be sure Luke wasn't an unlikely terrorist and let him on. Back home, Luke and Christine were more separate than ever. His hearing aid turned off more and more. So he didn't hear when she said, I've just booked an around the world in 80 days cruise. I'm going by myself. In any case, uh, that story is a couple in retirement. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. Uh, and, of course, I'd welcome your uh, going to Amazon and checking out my book, Soloists, uh, by Marty Nemco, it'll say. Uh, that, that'll help you find it. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco.